Let's apply constraints. So going to our constraints, scrolling down, grabbing our concentric, left click this arc and this circle, this arc and this circle, this arc and this circle. I'm going to hit escape and grab this point left click and move it I'm gonna left click outside here to deselect this selection so left click moving back to our constraints and scrolling down selecting tangent left click this arc and this line so here we have one so no need moving to this line and this arc selecting this arc and this line and finally this one and this arc hitting escape to disable the constraint tool moving to our dimension left click and move this further to the left same with our 90 and the 20 our 15 Now moving up, grabbing our dimension tool, selecting this arc, and the value for this one is 15. Moving to this arc, left click to select, dropping it here, and keying in 60. Now notice it became unproportional I'm gonna hit escape and grab our R60 I'm gonna right click and toggle it into diameter so now it is 120 I'm gonna double click this one to change its value and key in 60 pressing enter Moving up again and grabbing our dimension. But it is obvious that this arc should be equal with this arc. I'm going to hit escape. Go to our constraints. Scroll down. Selecting equal. Selecting the parent and the child. Going up and grabbing our dimension tool. Selecting this vertical line and this line, moving here and keying in 60, pressing enter. Dimension tool still active, selecting this arc. I'm going to drop our dimension here and the value for this one is 10, pressing enter. I'm going to hit escape. So notice this one should be perfectly vertical. Moving to our constraints, scrolling down, selecting horizontal vertical, selecting this line, moving back again to constraints, selecting now parallel, selecting this line and this line, hitting escape left click to select our vertical line and I'm gonna hold my control key and left click this one I'm gonna move to our sketch palette to contextual options and make it as a construction line and the shortcut for that is letter X left click so now it turned into a construction line now in addition as a part of my workflow I uh, usually disable snap to grid and incremental move so now this is fully constrained I'm trying to move our entities so yes it is and we can now head up to stop sketch going to create 
and selecting extrude going to go to our home view prompted to select a profile selecting this profile grabbing our blue arrow and moving this up moving to direction and selecting symmetric I'm going to go to distance keying in 15 divided by 2 and hit OK going to home view and congratulations for creating this part model